Hey, good afternoon, Guardian CBL here with your weekly vendor reset review. I changed the name because it's easier to say. Today is May 23rd, 2017, and we've got a couple of weapons that we're going to be checking out today. Now, first things first, to be quite honest, there's no real god rolls on sale this week, but there are a couple of weapons that have some fun possibilities that we'll be checking out. We've got the palindrome with not quite a god roll, but certainly a workable one. This week's Crucible Hand Cannon is coming with the True Sight Iron Sights for Extra Aim Assist, Outlaw, Last Resort, Small Bore, Lightweight, and Hidden Hand. Definitely some interesting options on there. Outlaw, of course, helps you supplement this gun's kind of middling base reload speed. Small Bore, while not as good as the range boost you get from Rifled Barrel, is going to give you a little bit of extra range and stability at the cost of some magazine size, and the extra aim assist you get from Hidden Hand is very much appreciated on a weapon like this. If for some reason you didn't get that great god roll that was sold a few weeks back, you know, the one with Rifled Barrel and Icarus, and why wouldn't you have, this one can kind of be a decent enough substitute. Next up, we've got the Event Horizon Sniper Rifle. This thing's coming with the short gaze low zoom scope, quick draw, casket mag, underdog, perfectionist, and hidden hand. Some really decent options here. This is a high impact sniper. The extra aim assist from hidden hand is very much appreciated, and casket mag giving it a bigger magazine size makes it almost feel as good as this archetype used to feel when it had a higher base magazine back in the day. It's almost worth picking up just based on the magazine buff alone, but hey, if you're really that good, you can also make use of the Perfectionist perk. Alright, moving on, next up at the Vanguard, we had a few things to check out. First things first, the Parthian shot this week is also looking pretty darn good, as usual by this point. This thing always seems to have great setups, and this week is no different. We're talking Outlaw, Take a Knee, Braced Frame, Rifled Barrel, and Counterbalance. Just giving you a lot of options between extra stability with Counterbalance and Braced Frame, or a little bit of extra range with Rifled Barrel, along of course with the great reload speed buff from Outlaw. Overall, just a fantastic roll. And then we've got the Occam's Razor Shotgun. This is looking pretty good this week. It does have aggressive ballistics for a little bit of a boost to its impact, and the perks it's coming with are Cascade, Knee Pads, Flared Magwell, Rifled Barrel, and Full Auto. Now, it's not as good as the bad council that was on sale last week from the new Monarchy, and I really hope you picked that one up. It was a perfect PvE shotgun. But this is still going to be really good. This archetype of shotgun is super fun in PvE. Full Auto is going to allow you to take full advantage of this gun's crazy rate of fire. You get a little bit of extra range with Rifled Barrel. And then, of course, Cascade is there for cleanup melee kills to give you a bit more in your magazine. Definitely not bad if you're looking for a PvE shoddy. All right, at the Future War Cult, the Wounded this week is looking really good. Remember, the Wounded is just a great scout rifle all around. It's got great base stats, and the roll this week looks like it's going to be really fun. This week's roll has high caliber rounds, snapshot, perfect balance, outlaw, and hidden hand. Giving you two combinations you could really work well with. High caliber rounds and outlaw for the faster reload speed mixed in with the extra aim assist of hidden hand, or you can throw in perfect balance for a little bit of extra stability. Personally, I find this gun really stable right out the box, so I would probably go for the outlaw variant there. Either way, this roll just makes for a really solid scout rifle. Now next up, we're going to be checking out the Waltz, the future war cult pulse rifle. This week's Waltz has the Sure Shot Iron Sights for bonus aim assist, Flared Magwell, Snapshot, Third Eye, Hammer Forged, and Counterbalance. Meaning it'll have a nice boost to its stability thanks to Counterbalance there, which you really need on a gun that fires as fast as this, while also having a little bit of extra range with Hammer Forged. You throw in Snapshot for the snappy ADS speed, and you've actually got a pretty workable PvP version of this gun. Not too bad at all. All right, and the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is more of an honorable mention than anything else. The Unto Dust over at the Dead Orbit. This week's roll comes with a pretty good combination of Field Scout, Javelin, Spray and Play, and Cluster Bomb, which is usually a great roll for PvE rockets. You've got the extra reserves from Field Scout, the extra velocity from Javelin, or faster reloads from Spray and Play, and then of course Cluster Bombs is a great perk for PvE. So, if you're looking for a good PvE shotgun and you missed out on the great warpath or the great disassembly required that's been sold in recent weeks, you can go ahead and pick up the Unto Dust. It'll be a good substitute for you until better versions of those other guns return. But alright Guardians, that's pretty much it for your weekly vendor reset review. That was, as usual, just a few of the guns on sale this week that we thought might catch your eye. If you buy any guns this week, be sure to let us know what they are down in the comment section below. Oh, and as a quick heads up, there will not be an arms day video tomorrow. I flubbed last week and completely forgot to buy the packages. So, my bad on that. I'll try to figure out a way to make it up to you. 
But alright, it's going to be it for this one, Guardians. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.